Hello, thank you so much for coming back to join me for this week's beauty throwback. Sorry, I have to have the window open. It is hot as Hades and there's um, a lawnmower going off far down. Anyway, sorry about the noise. But anyway, today I have an oldie, hopefully a goodie. I've never tried this. This is the e.l.f. Illuminating Palette and this came out like six years ago and it's still around. So I'm kind of curious to see what it's going to do. But anyway, if you'd like to see a try on and see my first impressions review of this, then please keep on watching. Like it says, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty, so make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that jazz. That way you don't miss out on the daily uploads, yeah. Okay, let me go ahead and tell you what's on my lips because people always ask. Um, it is the Rimmel The Only One Lipstick in One of a Kind. Really, really pretty, deeper, rusty red. Anyway, this is the Illuminating Palette, it includes a mirror. So this powder illuminating palette holds four shades of color that are designed to mix and match for a custom blend radiance that captures, diffuses, and softens the way light reflects on the skin. It's a soft focus powder. They're great for highlighting around the eyes, on the cheekbones to enhance the skin with a luminous effect. Infused with vitamin E and argan oil to help nourish and hydrate the skin. Um, I feel like, I don't know. I've been into makeup for a really, really long time, and I feel like things don't stick around that that much. Like, things are always discontinued. There's like a handful of products that I can think of that were around when I first started getting into makeup that are around now. So this being out and about, out and about for six years is surprising because e.l.f. comes out with stuff over, you know, they come out with stuff quickly. So I'm excited, but... Everybody from Tati and I was doing research and every big YouTuber has done this six years ago. But anyway, it does come with a beautiful full size mirror and those are the four shades. So looks like, looks decent. It looks like these can be popped out maybe. I'm not going to try, but it looks like they can maybe be popped out. But let me go ahead and swatch these for you. I don't really see any shimmer, which isn't a bad thing, you know. Okay, very soft. So those are the four shades. Definitely tell this is a very natural, like barely there highlighter, like not the highlighters of today or a few years ago that are blinding a lot of shimmer particles, maybe even some glitter chunks. This reminds me of a softer version of the Essence, like the those highlighters that are like the round little compact, kind of domed, kind of baked. I can't remember what those are called, but kind of reminds me of that. Um, but let's go ahead and try it. I'm curious. Um, I have full face makeup on, but no highlighter, so... I'm going to go in with the lightest shade right here to start. Even though they're super soft, I'm not getting a ton of kick up, which is good, but picked up quite a bit. Let's see here. So you can see the difference like here, like here, it's not blended. It looks pretty, you know, blinding here it is definitely a very natural looking highlight which a lot of people do enjoy. I do enjoy them from time to time. I do like a blinding highlight as well. One good thing about this sort of highlighter though is it doesn't enhance texture. So it's a very barely there highlight, which once again might not be my cup of tea all the time, but it is pretty. I can see this being really gorgeous on um, someone that has more mature skin. I'm 37. I'm getting there. Look at those under eyes. It's a thing. I can definitely see this being a good highlighter for someone that has more mature skin. Somebody that doesn't like that super blinding highlighter, I can definitely see this working for them. Let me see if I can build this up a little bit because it just gives the very slightest little glow. Sorry, people are being loud out there. I'm gonna go over to the second shade right here and we'll pick some of this up. Picks up nicely. Okay, so you can build it. It's gonna give you a little bit more, but it's not gonna be blinding. I'm gonna hit it with some setting spray. Let's see what that will do.
making sure it's blended really nicely. Okay, so layered it up, got a little bit more, nothing, nothing compared to nowadays stuff, but let's go ahead and hit it with some setting spray. I'll, I'm going to do half my face first. Okay, just a little bit. Didn't go in with as much as I usually would. A lot of times a setting spray, even maybe adding a little bit of water, like from a spray bottle, whatever, will help melt stuff in and also enhance highlighter. Um, maybe the slightest bit. It still looks really pretty. It's just a very certain type of highlighter. Let me go and do the other side. Okay, so we're set. Um, yeah, I like the highlighter palette. It is, like I said, soft focus. Um, it's going to give you a barely there whisper, a little bit of highlight. It is really, really pretty. I think for people that really don't like highlight or someone that doesn't want to enhance certain, you know, texture issues, the e.l.f. illuminating palette is going to be perfect. It's super affordable, still being sold. I recommend buying it on um, Amazon. This does retail for between six and eight dollars on like at my regular grocery store. You might be able to get cheaper on Amazon, Walmart, places like that. But it is really, really pretty. I can definitely see myself getting this out and using it for a really natural, maybe no makeup makeup look. Today with the eye and the lip, this definitely seems a little drowned out, but it does look very skin-like. It doesn't look chunky. It do it's not gathering. It's not bunchy. It just looks like skin, which is really, really nice. So I do like this. And I think it's a beauty throwback that more people need to be using nowadays. I know right now the naked skin look, um, the no makeup makeup look is really, really in. And I think this would be a perfect thing. For some people, they're not able to use um, liquid or cream highlighters like me. I'm kind of like, eh, there's certain ones I can use. But with combo skin, mature skin, some... Some of those cream and liquid textures can look a little weird on my skin. So if you're looking for that kind of effect of a really natural looking highlighter, one that maybe gives the effect of a cream or liquid highlighter because it's like barely there, blends really beautifully into the skin, then yeah, the e.l.f. Illuminating palette is beautiful. The four shades I do think would fit a degree of skin tones where they're not super pigmented, they're not super blinding. So I think that this palette could work from very light skin to deeper skin tones, no issue. So I do like this and I do recommend it, but I'll go ahead and link this down below if I can find it on Amazon. It'll be an Amazon affiliate link, so just be aware of that, but really, really pretty on the skin for that barely there glow, very skin-like, so it is a good product. But anyway, there we go. Um, I hope you did enjoy this week's beauty throwback. Um, if you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it. Let me know down below in the comments if you used this when it first came out six years ago. Do you still use it? Um, what kind of highlighter effect do you like? Do you like the barely there like this one or do you like the super glowy one? Let me know down below. And of course, you're welcome to follow me on my social media. I have Facebook and Instagram and it is at Budget Glam Babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start auto-playing here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones that will be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.